Hi folks, in my last video on the ghost white toner system we was uh, experimenting with, I had a problem with creating a black mask over our image for us to print our black overlay. I found a little way of doing it from one of the comments in that video, so let's have a look at that system. In our first video we done on our ghost white toner system, the application requires you to provide a black overlay and then you take out your laser black cartridge, install the ghost white toner cartridge, which is here, and then you print the so-called black layer out, which then will print out in white because we've just replaced it with uh, a white cartridge. Well, that's all well and good, but how to, actually how to create the black layer in Photoshop or any editing software, I had a lot of problem with that and there are ways obviously to do it, but I looked around the internet, I couldn't find any ways. Now I had a comment from a chap called, I think it was it's just an illusion on that ghost white toner software. I mean, I'm not a Photoshop expert at the end of the day. It's not something I've ever had to do before. So obviously you're learning new skills all the time. And he, he, he said to me that you can do that using a certain control in the, 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 for the borders called the modify control. And let's take a look over at the computer now. Let's show you how we can create a black overlay to go over your image and shrink it down just a little bit and that will produce the black layer which in turn will give you your white background for your graphic on the uh, A paper which we need for our laser printer. So let's go over to the computer now and have a look how to do this. Right, I'll just bring up the uh, video in question. This is my ghost white toner uh, real life review and funny enough, I've just had another comment there from uh, somebody else. Let me just refresh the page. Uh, from John's print shop there and he says he uses Coral Draw and often to use the reduce mask feature in that But it should be possible in Photoshop. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do now Well, as I say John, uh, I don't use Coral Draw. I know a few of you probably do use Coral Draw. I do use Photoshop So let's look at this way, which it's all just an illusion uh, suggestion he says select all the black then select modify then border by two picks and then hit delete. That's one way of doing it. Well, we're gonna have a look at that. Two picks weren't quite enough uh, for uh, the application because I've been trying this. So let's just drop that down now. I've got Photoshop here and I'm just gonna pull up an image which does require a bit more work than that last image that we, uh, that we had. So let me just open that up. So this is just a generic picture of Mickey Mouse on a white background. Really to do this, you need a a transparent background. So because I've brought that image in now, as you can see down here, it says that it's a background layer. Now we need to double click on that and then click OK. That takes the little padlock off there, which means that we can now alter this image. So by going to our selection tool there and then clicking on the white part of the page and then hitting the backspace, we can get rid of all that background. And as you can still see, there's some white left in there and also between his legs. So if we get the mouse and just click on them little bits, then hit the backspace or delete button, you can delete them white bits there and go down to his legs as well and just do them bits there, like that. So there we go, we've got the image there now with a transparent background, it's Mickey Mouse. And what we need to do now is to create a mask for this image. And as I showed in my last video, what we need to do is to actually duplicate the layer there, go onto your blue bar there, and if you right click on it, it says duplicate layer. You can call it what you want, but for this episode, I'm just gonna call it mask. Then click okay. So as you can see over here now, we've got two layers. We've got our first layer, and then we've got our mask layer. And they're both exactly the same. We're only gonna be dealing with the mask layer at the moment because we want to create a black replica of our image. And all we can do there is go onto the blue bar there and double click it. That brings up this window and then you can select color overlay. And as you can see, the default color overlay on this is red. And I'll just come next to it and then just click on that color overlay box again. And then you can actually change the color of the overlay. We want black there. So I'm just gonna choose black. And as you can see now, click okay. And we've now got two layers. We've got our black layer there and we've got our other layer there. If I turn off the little eyeball down there, you can see that can turn it off and that leaves the one below which is our full color and then we've got our overlay of black 
Now, that overlay of black is exactly the same size as that. Now, we need to reduce that down, which is the problem I was having. And there's a few things we need to do, first of all, to make that happen. If we go to the black layer, which we're on, so I'm just going to click the magic wand tool now on the transparent background. I'm going to hit the shift button and the bit between the balloons, as you can see, I'm just clicking on them as well. And also the little pieces between his legs as well. I'm then going to hit select and inverse. And that's left the marching ants literally just all around the image and taking it away from the page. So that's where we are at the moment. We then go up to select we then go down to modify and where it says border. So we click on that and I've reduced it by eight pixels, the, uh, pixels there. And I'm just going to click OK. And when we click OK, we get double lines there, double marching ants basically. And all we want to do is to hit the delete button or the backspace button on your keyboard. And that will delete that little selection we've just made. And then we can come outside literally and just click outside now. And if I zoom in, as you can probably see, all the way around there now, the black layer is slightly smaller than the under layer, and that should now be our mask small enough to be able to not stick out of the edges. So we've got two layers now. Let me zoom out. I'm going to turn the black layer off. We've got our full color layer, which is the first layer down there. And then we've got the black layer, which sits on top. If I click on, turn the eyeball on, that is slightly smaller than our color layer underneath and I'll just turn the back layer off and as you can see it's slightly smaller I'm turning the back layer on and off there you can see it uh, it is definitely slightly smaller so that's what we ended up with so there you go thanks to one of our fellow YouTube uh, youtubers we was able to use the modify mask in Photoshop another person said that they can use the mask feature in Coral Draw so there are ways to do it I've learned something in this little exercise now and we can now produce a black mask slightly smaller than our image using the techniques I've shown in this video. Hope that was of some help to you, and we'll see you again in the next video, and until then, bye for now.